that is the mistake you do okay you cannot do that you do your film your way your language oh that's how it should be done bahubali was never thought of as a panic it was shot as a telugu film they did not shoot any hindi dialogues nothing i had tried bilingual films in my earlier days you know where we would where we would shoot one shot of this and one shot of that and one shot of uh, uh, tamil and one shot of telugu and then we would try to you know do a different edit for them and different edit for us in today's time uh, the star is the content is the script uh, after that if that is rock solid then uh, everything follows uh, but if that's not right uh, no matter what you do for the film will not work is what i feel huh. stardom is the raw stardom is only up to a certain limit mm. unless the script and the the content is rock solid like you said a star can take it up a little more so firstly welcome to pink villa it's lovely having the two of you together over here thank you thank you uh, so my first question is to you uh, this is a sequel to a film made in 2016 so when mm-hmm. did you first decide on making a part 2 and how has the story evolved over the years we decided quite some time back almost 5 years back to make this film but then due to some un- unavoidable circumstances we just couldn't do it and of course then almost 2 years of covid happened in between and it's still happening so yeah so uh, then about 5 months ago we went on to the floors and finished the film and uh, we are looking at coming in front of uh, for the pongal is sankranti is a very auspicious uh, time for us and it's a film time for us so we plan to come out and we came out um of course the story has evolved from then it can't be the same as the first mm-hmm. and uh, uh, nali chaitanya has uh, entered into this script mm-hmm. so that's what happened and uh, uh, chaitanya for you how did you first react when you were asked to be a part to join this franchise first it was exciting initially and at the same time it was uh, i felt quite nervous because the successful franchise and the character is something like i've never done before so it was all good challenges for me up ahead and uh, mm-hmm. it was something i wanted to prove to myself and uh, uh, natsa for you you know i was just reading some media reports when the film was first conceptualized i believe you wanted to bring jay and akhil together in the film could you tell mm. us if that is true or like those were just no problems? that is just uh, no there was never that never no idea about that at all okay okay yeah but do you ever plan to you know get you know this entire family in together on a film for something very special maybe the third part if maybe i have no idea we didn't think about it yet so uh, we will think about it when the time comes uh, yes we do uh, it would be nice if we can do it and uh, this question is for both of you do the two of you believe in superpowers and uh, the external powers that that exist like the one which is shown in the film do the two of you believe about the superpowers in real life too see uh, let me put it i for myself i'm telling you, we all we all grew up with stories always fascinated us you know right from our childhood the comics which we read the films which we have seen is always somewhere in your uh, 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 when you were a child you always believed that and uh, that that nostalgic feeling still exists and uh, um, so that is one of the reasons i was always attracted to this kind of a story and um, yes who knows there is there is nothing which you should say that you don't believe and that you believe anything is possible and uh, it can happen you know uh, for uh, so who knows <laughs> but this is the reason i was always fascinated since childhood uh, with all these kind of things you know uh, the, the animal speaking and animal powers and this and that all of these things and god coming down or the soul Uh, uh, a soul is around us and it's a very very uh, indian thing that the souls of our ancestors always look after us True. you know so that is always been the belief in our culture so that is something which uh, we incorporated in this film and uh, chaitanya for you do you believe in superpowers and uh... yeah i definitely think there is some kind of a supernatural force out there that is uh, sort of looking over us uh, but to put uh, 
an exact name to it or uh, something like that i'm I, i don't have anything and and you know there's another question for you i might get the film pronunciation wrong but uh, you are on a roll if i'm not wrong from majili followed by uh, love story and the venki mama all three were smash hits at the box office and now there is bangaraju which is coming on sankranti right. how does this success run feel and what are the pressures of delivering once you are you know on a roll when it comes to the number game i don't uh, focus too much on the number game for me it's more about the character and the content if you know that connects and if we feel right about that i think everything just follows and uh, whatever the film deserves will be achieved uh, but yeah once uh, you know once every uh, character is appreciated by the audience there is pressure to just deliver better on the next film uh, you know so it's 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 a good challenge to have uh, i'm fortunate that my characters have been working at the box office so it's 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 a good challenge to have to just keep proving yourself you have their support so uh, just explore yourself more correct and uh, nats how do you view this number game numbers are <laughs> numbers change <laughs> numbers change every year uh, i don't know if anything can match up to shole if you <laughs> actually convert the numbers literally to this year uh, you know uh, so the number game is just as as time goes by bigger and bigger and bigger numbers keep coming and uh, you know uh, you just chasing them <laughs> that's about it yeah so i don't much believe in the number game and never did all my life Uh, all my career through throughout my career and like chair said uh, the film gets what it deserves correct and this comes from someone who has delivered some of the biggest blockbusters in telugu industry so yeah. no i really don't believe numbers are very fictional which can be added up made up hmm. all kinds of things you know numbers are something uh, you know they they are they are like uh, they keep disappearing <laughs> yeah and a new number comes up and, and how do the two of you view the concept of stardom like so how has it evolved over the years according to you and how do you view the stardom in today's time in today's time uh, the star is the content is the script uh, after that if that is rock solid then uh, everything follows uh, but if that's not right uh no matter what you do for the film will not work is what i feel okay oh that's interesting so basically that raw stardom is slowly diminishing it it's no no i won't say enough. that i won't say that so that's in i'm talking from purely my generation or you know from my space uh the of course the raw stardom still exists but i don't know if it does in uh, in in the in the generation i belong to mm mm-hmm. No, Chai. Okay. See, what I feel is not just your generation; any generation. Huh. Stardom is the raw stardom is only up to a certain limit, mm. unless the script and the the content is rock solid, like you said. A star can take it up a little more, you know, notch right. it up a little more. If the bad right. content is there, if the content is not there, the biggest star also can't save the film. Right. Maybe. Right. instead of uh, the biggest the biggest star will connect 2 uh, rupees and if it's right. not a star it will be one and a half rupees right <laughs> that's right. about it right um, uh, a star can only uh, notch it up you right. can't completely uh, take it and uh, go I really believe that. it has always been like that. the biggest right. of the stars had the biggest of the flops <laughs> yeah. true yeah that's true that's true and 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 so bangaraju is if we look at it it's actually the last man standing when it comes to theatrical release in today's time there were so many films up for release in january in all industries and it is finally bangaraju which is the major film which is releasing on sankranti how do you view this development and uh, you know when there was a string of releases was bangaraju always in the race for that sankranti spot on uh, feb 14 uh, sorry jan 14 the day we started i was in the race Uh, i was always because for us uh, sankranti is a very film going uh, festival uh, from decades history if you go back to it there was almost four to five films released in that 10 uh, day period uh, and uh, usually three to four films do very well Hmm. for two films will do extremely well hmm. it's always been there and uh, um, i i looked at it like that 
In fact, the 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 it was four five years ago when I released uh, the, the the original Bangar Raju. There were about five films released that time. So and it did it did extremely well. So with that confidence, I came in, and uh, of course uh, the two two biggies fell fell out because of different reasons. It's not uh, anything. They're all pan world films, pan India, not just pan India. They need they need a proper landing all over the world. Mm-hmm. It's just not in the Telugu states, and Telugu states are quite okay. Still, it's not uh, my this film is for the Telugu people. It was never planned as a pan India film, so it's the Telugu states are quite okay. It's uh, yeah. not as bad as uh, Maharashtra or Delhi or other places. Yeah. <laughs> So, but you know, talking of Pan India release, how do the two of you view this, this you know, rising concept of Pan India films? And if you look at it, it is Telugu cinema which is spearheading this movement. So, how do the two of you view this aspect? Well, Bahubali did the crossover. Yeah, know? Bahubali did the crossover actually, and suddenly people realized that it's it's the like Jay said, it's the content people like, and uh, today after the OTT. this thing people have started to enjoy all languages hmm. and they suddenly the mind is open you know people have opened to it and uh, uh, somewhere the the uh, if you look at the recent films about bali it just connected with the people's emotions hmm. uh, uh, the 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 emotions uh, which that's all they needed to connect they didn't they didn't care who's the star is and all of that they came and watched of uh, absolutely yeah And and say, how do you view this phenomenon? It's it's a great opportunity for for all of us, you know, that uh, our content is being absorbed everywhere, and that there are no more boundaries. I would give a lot of credit, like Dad said, one is Bau Bali, and also technology. Uh, you know, OTT started playing all kinds of languages, and uh, language is not a barrier anymore. It's just the emotion that audience is connecting to. Hmm. So for actors, for technicians, for everyone, it's it's. it's something great that's happening because the more exposure we get the better for us so i'm i'm really happy that this movement is happening and uh, uh, max sir you know you just said that bahubali was the triggering point but you know we have been having a lot of discussions over here about the advent of pan india cinema and there is this television as a medium which has been very powerful you know to bring films and make the southern cinema approachable to the audience over here and uh, if we go back the earliest memory that i have of watching a south indian film would be a dubbed version of say meri jang one man army which featured you or a don number one or a king number one and those films actually triggered that movement slow and steady which has led to this so how do you look to at this phenomena you know where it started i think in 2006 7 when these films were dubbed in hindi to now and you have played yes. a major role in that yeah the my earlier yes especially dawn number 1 and meri jung they yes. were incredible the dialogues in that are like yeah. yeah huge 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 hits um the reason i will tell you is during that time uh, i felt the the, the the hindi films uh, the bollywood films were completely westernized and they were connecting to the nri audience and they for, they really forgot about the uh, the, the indian Uh, audience here, the single theater audience. Yeah, and those films, if you look at it, they are pure single theater uh, uh, films. Uh, you know, and people suddenly felt, ah, this is what we like to see. This is what happens next door. This is what happens in our basti. This is what happens here. You know, to someone. And I think that's why both those films, if you see the background, it is really grounded. the stories the script the characters they're all very very grounded the dialogues they speak the mother and son connection and the brother and fr- the friendship connection all of that was there they were not speaking any foreign language they True. were speaking our language i think that's how the whole connected and then this and the south influx of larger than life the heroes being larger than life you know all the action sequences all were very very larger than life and they just loved it and the comedy and the dance you know they wanted they wanted films that they can enjoy <laughs> they didn't want to think too much you know 
that started the influence i think that's what is the success of these films and in today's time are the two of you looking to create content which would you know bridge like when it comes to script selections for both of you with regional barriers been bridged are the two of you also looking keenly that this script has the potential of going pan india or we can take it pan india in terms of when it comes to conceptualization level itself that is the mistake you do okay you cannot do that you do your film your way your language Oh. That's how it should be done. Bow Valley was never thought of as a pan Indian. It was shot as a Telugu film. They did not shoot any Hindi dialogues. Nothing. That's when you don't make, miss the essence of it. Hmm. And then you dub it. The basic essence of all scripts and all people, all Indian people, is the same. Now you start thinking, oh, okay, for Hindi they might like this. No, this is the shirt I have to wear. I can't wear that shirt. they man i can't wear a lungi you know you start thinking like that you you will get totally confused and you will make a bad film True. this is this is proven time and time again i had tried bi- bilingual films in my earlier days you know where we would where we would sh- shoot one shot of this and one shot of that and one shot of uh, uh, tamil and one shot of telugu and then we would try to you know do a different edit for them and different edit for us just won't work you know chai i watched love story recently and it's it's a very universal film in terms of emotions love story that's a genre which every single person would connect to with dance music do you think these are the subjects you know which can now you know you can think about it that you know once it is made we can bring it in hindi as well because we all know let's be honest at some point of time it might be remade in hindi so why not people watch it uh, in the original form see like dad said i think uh, my ideology is still to be true to the language it was conceptualized uh, and then uh, since we have technology now we have that platform to expose it uh, to the maximum audience possible so l- that platform will automatically take the film where it needs to go and of course if uh, an actor from another language decides to remake it then you know that's doing justice to it again in their own language or uh, in in that form but me trying to shoot a telugu film in three or four different languages for the sake of a bigger release i feel is uh, you know i i i won't go that route uh, me personally okay. and uh, uh, naksha you know you have already completed shooting for brahmastra which is touted to be the biggest film of bollywood you play a archaeologist in the film it's a first i think it's a first for you among the first or i don't think you have done archaeologist before how excited are you for that film it marks your return also to a hindi film after i think almost 20 years yeah 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 straight straight film i'm i'm on your tv screen all the time <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah uh, of course straight film yeah. hindi hindi film a straight hindi film yeah it's more than the archaeology part of it and all of that it is the the the, the script and the 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 way with the passion they made it and you know, the the mixing um, um, mythology and our ancient uh, um you know, uh, vedic times to the present times uh, is very well mixed into it and it is our uh, I don't know how much they have revealed so I really don't want to get into it and reveal these things and it is something about this 5000 year old brahmastra <laughs> you know that is the film <laughs> and yeah. you enter bollywood with lal singh chadda firstly are you done shooting for the film yes i'm done shooting yeah. for the film so how excited are you for that big debut with amir khan which is a remake of a classic like forest gum Oh I'm very excited I can't wait for you guys to catch it in the theater because the role you know whatever we've shot is come out so well and I'm really excited about it the team is really excited so can't wait for you all to see it and the way they've adapted it uh, to our indian uh, you know uh, culture and our indian sensibilities is is what intrigued me the most when I heard the script they've covered some really uh, uh, you know important events down our timeline uh and i think you know so i can't wait for you guys to watch it and uh, last couple of questions uh, nak what is the release size of bangaraju looking like in apts it's pretty big uh, in fact i'm a little worried about that <laughs> okay so too okay. many theaters too many theaters 
<laughs> because there's the only film there so um the two two too many theaters you know because all the theaters are empty and in this festive time everybody all theaters want a film, a film mm-hmm. uh, and especially a new film uh, so <laughs> it's a it's a very big release which uh, uh, i hadn't planned for okay so you prefer you know a, what we call a platform release that uh, for for films that is always good that is always good when the film goes in tight all shows are fulls and then slowly as people go and spread the talk outside you keep adding theaters mm-hmm. that is the, that is the way i believed in uh, a business uh, a while ago uh, and that works for me and um, especially this is a fam- family film all the whole family needs to come the families don't come the first day or the second day you know they take time to come to the theaters so so next up for you is ghost could you tell us something on that that is your next big release when can we expect well we have to shoot we have to sh- do a abroad shoot we are not able to do it because of this uh, covid uh, things uh, so we need to finish that shoot abroad shoot um probably another 6 months at least by the time it gets to be see the light yeah and jay i have heard like someone i was speaking to down south he has told me wonderful things about thank you and the concept also that i've heard it seems very special could you tell right. us something on it seems like that perfect slice of life you would entertain that audience want yeah it is a slice of life it's 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 a travel log uh, kind of a film uh, we've we're done shooting for it almost 90% percent of it we just have a week left uh, we we're, we're planning to fly down to russia if everything works out uh, end of the month and finish that off so it's a very feel good breezy film uh, it's about this guy and uh, how how he goes down memory lane and also uh, explores the importance of gratitude uh, that's the whole soul of the film importance of gratitude uh, it should be out soon uh, hoping if uh, the you know everything goes well should be out soon and last words on bangaraju before signing off from both of you yeah it's a it's a fun film a lot of fun uh, it's a full package of uh, all kinds of elements put into it and uh, it's a family all gone out entertainer and uh, that's what we aimed at the festive times the uh, sankranti pongal is so that's what people expect all the time and they're looking for that kind of that is a film which we have given and ache uh, from your end yeah it's it's a complete uh, it's a film that uh, you know dad and the whole team planned for the festival because uh, during the festival over here everyone looks forward so much uh, for the sankranti festival all the telugu people uh, you know everyone's in a mood to celebrate and enjoy with their friends and family and you know share some really nice moments uh, and this film is all about that and this film has that vibe uh, telugu the telugu audience have to watch a film during sankranti it's like a ritual literally so this is the perfect film for them and uh, yeah hoping to see everyone at the theaters uh, day after and uh, hoping for the best perfect thank you so much guys it was lovely talking to you all right okay yes. all right yes yeah. and i hope you like the questions yes yeah, no yes. no it's fine absolutely fine yeah. absolutely fine no it's a good thing that you asked us these questions about this Uh, the 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 link between bollywood and uh, the, yeah. the telugu films you know uh, how with how people are watching them so much you know True. especially yeah. i know how much our dubbed films are in demand <laughs> yeah True. yes yes yeah. thank yeah. you sir and best of luck yeah. again thank you jay yeah bye bye, bye. thank you